Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking into international serial and thrill killers Hermann Duft and Hans Wilhelm Bassenau. Hermann Duft was born in Frankfurt, Germany in 1938. While Hans Wilhelm Bausenau was born in Darmstadt in the same year. Both were plumbers. Duft was single while Bausenauer was married and had three children. Duft formerly served for a brief period of time with the French Foreign Legion in the Algerian War. The Algerian War was fought between France and the Algerian National Liberation Front between 1954 and 1962, resulting in Algeria claiming her independence from France. The conflict resulted in significant casualties for both sides, with between 140,000 and 152,863 soldiers of the Algerian National Liberation Front killed, 25,000 French soldiers killed, 6,000 European citizens killed, and 50,000 Harkis, who were pro-French forces, killed or missing. An estimated 55,000 to 250,000 Algerian civilians were killed, with 2 million Algerians resettled or displaced. Both Duft and Balsenar were involved in robberies and assaults in West Germany, as well as in Marseille, France and Naples in Italy. As a result, the pair were marked by Interpol. Balsenar was considered to be the brain of the crimes, while Duft was his docile partner in crime. On the 17th of February 1969, Duft and Balsenar arrived in Greece by car. They then began an indiscriminate murder spree, killing people utilising a gun or knife, with their motive being robbery. On the 5th of March 1969, they killed 35-year-old night watchman Nikos Kanagis as well as 22-year-old soldier Konstantinos Koulis outside a petrol station near Febus, a city in Boyatoya, central Greece. On the 13th of March, they killed a Greek-American stockbroker, 54-year-old Pantelis Afanios in Vula, a southern suburb of Athens. On the 7th of April, they committed another murder, killing a 34-year-old taxi driver, Ionis Fragiadakis in Kabori. Two days later, on the 9th of April, they murdered a night guard at a petrol station, 42 year old Ioannis Tesultsanis in Malakasa. On the 12th of April, the duo committed their final murder in Kineta, killing 40 year old George Papagiergiu who was a waver and lived in West Germany, having driven back to Greece for a holiday. They abandoned their car and took Papagiergios' car back to Athens. Four days later, on the 16th of April 1969, a Greek woman saw small specks of blood on a car outside of her house in Haidagi, a suburb of Western Athens. The car had German license plates. This turned out to be the car belonging to the last victim of Duft and Balsener, Papa Giorgio. The woman notified police who launched an ambush and arrested Duft and Balsener once they returned to get Papa Giorgio's car. So how did the duo manage to get across Greece, kill six people in five weeks, and no member of the public was able to put the pieces together and link the murder spree to Duft and Balsener? Well, one reason was Greece was under a dictatorial regime under a series of far-right military juntas between the 21st of April 1967 and the 24th of July 1974. The dictatorial regime banned newspapers from publishing news about the murders until Duft and Balsener were arrested. As a result, Greek members of the public were unaware of and unable to connect the murder spree, believing that the murders if they knew about them, were isolated incidents. Additionally, the two were unregistered tourists who were unlikely to be recognised by witnesses. Furthermore, there was no linkage in the murders and police did not even know about Papagiergios' murder until they were informed by Duft and Balsenar. 
Upon their arrest, the pair confessed to their crimes and were put on trial at the five-member court of appeal, a secondary criminal court in Greece. They were both sentenced to death for murder in July 1969. Balsana's wife attempted suicide following her husband's conviction but survived. The appeal of Balsana and Duft was rejected at the Aregpagus Supreme Court as was their request to reduce their sentence to life imprisonment at the Council of Pardons. Balsana was held at prison in Corfu. While Duft was held at prison in Aegina. Both were executed separately by firing squad on the 15th of December 1969. During his execution, Duft asked that his eyes be left uncovered and coldly shouted hello in Greek before being shot. Balsana's widow told West German newspaper Bild that her husband got a just punishment but objected to their executions taking place near Christmas. The last death sentence in Greece was carried out in 1972 when 27-year-old Vasilis Limberis was shot for murdering his wife, mother-in-law and two children by burning down their house on the island of Crete. Capital punishment was abolished in Greece gradually from 1975 until the complete abolition of the death penalty for all crimes in 2004. In 2005, Greece ratified Protocol No. 13 of the European Convention on Human Rights concerning the abolition of the death penalty under all circumstances. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet, and have an amazing day.